Hey, what's up, guys? Here we are. It's um, seven and a half weeks out. Posing video for you. Uh, before we get this going, I will say um, this is going to sound really strange, <laughs> but I'm actually lighter, or excuse me, I'm actually heavier <laughs> in this video than I was in my last. Ten and a half weeks out video. I know it sounds crazy. I'm actually 188.8 in this video at seven and a half weeks out, and in my ten and a half weeks out video, I was 188.6. So obviously, these past couple weeks is um, this is kind of all part of you know. Obviously, I'm a little bit frustrated because uh, the weight on the scale is really kind of like. And anybody that's done prep knows this. Um, you know, the scale can really, really mess with your head. Um, I mean, you talk to like any of the top guys too. You know, I, I'm, I think I even recall like Ryan Doris, who works with Lane Norton, saying that he even stalled for, man, I think he even said like eight weeks or something like that, where his weight didn't, uh, didn't, didn't drop that much. You know, even my coach, I was just talking with him today. Uh, I think he said he stalled for like four weeks during his last prep, but you know he was taking pictures and stuff like that and getting harder. Um, you know, so I'm gonna go back and kind of you know look at this video and compare it with my ten and a half weeks out video. I mean, you guys can go ahead and compare as well. And shit, I mean, if you want to be honest with me and say, "Con, <laughs> you don't look much better from your ten and a half weeks out video," I, I respect that. Um, you know, I just need to go back and kind of critique myself as well. And see kind of what I notice. Um, you know, obviously, I still know with me, um, and I knew this kind of going, you know, all along that I, I'm still holding a lot of fat in my um, in my glutes and hams, like I was before. Same issue. Um, so you'll, you'll get you'll get to see that, you know, later in the video. I'll go over it, but um, yeah, and like I said, though, this is me. It as crazy as it sounds, three weeks later, Wayne weighing just a tad bit more than I was in my um, ten and a half week out video. Here's a new pose um, that was suggested that uh, I try. I think it actually looks pretty good. I think it's a good pose that kind of accentuates um, really good, call it what, aesthetics. Little abs and thigh. And sorry guys, I wanted to get a um, you know one of these posing videos up earlier, but like I said, with my I just kept waiting for my weight to drop and waiting for my weight to drop. Um, so that's why I was kind of like delaying this video. And I originally wasn't even gonna post this. So I was kind of so frustrated. But you know what? I was like, you know what? I mean, this is part of prep, and I just think it's fair that you know. I kind of whatever kind of expose myself so other people that are prepping can kind of you know relate to this and you know there's no point in sitting and, and kind of hiding around and and stuff like that so I'm just putting this out there for you guys to see so like I said this is me you know this is me at seven and a half weeks out <clears throat> but I mean this is just another reminder once again of um, you know Prep is so much, uh, so much more mental, almost than it is physical for me. The physical aspect, doing the workouts, doing the cardio, you know, that, that comes pretty easy to me. But uh, dealing with uh, the mental aspect of always kind of questioning uh, if you're lean enough, or, you know, are you getting leaner? Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I know it's it's bad, but you know. Do I compare myself to others? Yes. Um, I think a good thing though is at this rate now, I no longer compare myself to uh, any other amateurs just because I'm not trying to sound overconfident or cocky or anything, but I just feel now at, at, that my physique now is, in my opinion, anybody can disagree, that my physique is now at a, you know, at a, at a pro level to where you know, now I'm comparing myself with, um, you know, nat top natural pros 
in the country. And so that's the type of conditioning that I'm striving for. Um, you know, I sit there and I look at pictures of, uh, you know, like I think I told you guys in a previous video, the background on my, uh, on my iPhone, this whole entire prep has been a rear double bicep by, uh, one of the top natural bodybuilders actually in the world, uh, Brian Whitaker. A lot of people are, um, uh, are familiar with him. He just, I mean, the guy just comes in completely peeled. And so, you know, I used him as, um, motivation by having us, you know, just having this picture on my background, just kind of remind me of that um, type of conditioning that I'm striving for. So yeah, I get a little, uh, I get a little frustrated when um, sometimes I feel like I'm, I may be behind or I might not be able to reach that. Here's another new pose, guys. Uh, again, this is new, so I'm sitting, I'm just kind of trying to tweak this. Uh, these are just some things I might throw in my, uh, my free posing for my routine. Um, my boy, uh, Matt Ogus has been, um, I kind of got this from him, the idea. It's kind of a nice, I think it's a good pose. Like I said, if you have kind of, um, good aesthetics and things like that, good waistline, it can, um, uh, can accentuate your physique really well. Um, here's another, another pose, just kind of, uh, highlighting again, like my serratus and obliques, um, especially on my left side here, they get really, really dry, as you can tell. So this is kind of another one that I would just like to implement probably in my free posing. All right, let's get to the uh, the back shots, guys. Like I said, you can you can still definitely tell. I mean, I still think that this lighting, as you guys saw in my ten and a half weeks out video when I compared it to like my kitchen lighting, I think that this uh, this lighting doesn't really do any favors for my for my lower body. But hey, it's all good. So there's the um, rear double bicep. Switching legs. Going into a um Rear lat spread, which I'm getting a little better at. Um, I got a good tip a couple weeks back when I went to um, the Tri Cities and I met up with my boy Ricky, who gave me some uh, some posing critiques. So basically, I'm kind of not I'm not dragging my thumbs back as far, which were kind of uh, making my thumbs slip. Oh, here's a new surprise for you guys. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of them seeing not see, being able to see my uh, my right side shots from that other angle. So I turned the um, camera around here and I tried it from here just to give you guys an idea of what, with better lighting, what my right side shots look like. And the thing is, um, as you can see, guys, that mirror is where I kind of use, I've been able to actually, you know, kind of use that mirror as a reference for my posing videos to kind of look at myself. But uh, on this angle, I have no mirror. So it was kind of, it's, it's good practice. So like I said, this is how it is on stage. But if anything looks kind of off, it's just because I'm not used to, this is my first time posing without a mirror, so I'm gonna have to kind of keep practicing this. But you guys can see though, on my on my right side, it seems like look at the the detail in my uh, my hamstring and glute area. I think I was trying to tell you guys that before. It's um, really really happy with the progress of how conditioned I look through that area. And actually, I got a great another great posing tip. Uh, from Ricky regarding these side shots, which is actually really hard to do, which is uh, on your spiked calf leg. This is a good tip for any competitors: is to is to put your weight 
on that on your front leg on that on that leg that spike and that actually helps bring out more uh, more glute it's just hard to really your weight wants to kind of cater towards the other side so it's kind of hard to keep the weight on that foot and then just to give you guys again some different lighting to some you know some a different idea I just kind of wanted to experiment so I was like you know what I'm gonna hit a couple back shots from this lighting but again though I don't think it really um, I don't think it really it doesn't really highlight my um, my lower body that well but I do think that in this one though you were able to actually um, you know see some lines across the glutes there which which I was pretty happy with it just didn't show much and actually in this back shot I should have leaned back more to uh, bring out more low back but anyways guys um, like I said just typical kind of prep frustrations right now with the scale but actually we're going to be implementing uh, starting tomorrow uh, some new macro adjustments I'm going to be dropping carbs from, uh, from 285 down to 250 and then my fat from 60 to kind of 55 so hopefully that'll spark some, um, some new drops on the scale anyways guys um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Anybody that's kind of wants to compare my video from my 10, 10 and a half weeks out, let me know uh, how you think I'm progressing. 